Hello guys, my name is Disha and today I am doing the, these very very beautiful Indian bridal nails. This one is for Indian brides and uh, it's a requested one and here is the complete look. Now I chose red and gold which are very much Indian bridal colors and the polishes after applying my base coat, the polish I have used is this one by Shambor. This is the red one I have and it's from their stars collection. I do not know if they have it in loose as well but this comes in a pair this and a glitter polish so this is from the stars collection it's a beautiful red with some uh, golden um, what do you call it glitter in it very very minute glitter I mean you cannot even make out but it has some uh, nice glitter it's a very gorgeous red polish and then the golden I'm using is this one by Sally Hanson this is a new buy for me and uh, it's just very very beautiful and the way I've painted my nail is that golden on my ring golden on my thumb and then red 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 okay, now in all. my plate I took out some green acrylic paint the name is sap green right here it's from fevicryl and now i have this gold and it's actually acrylic paint but in powder form it's sort of a pigment okay and what i'm doing is that i have taken out green and now i will be just taking some golden glitter i mean not glitter it's pigment and i'll just mix it into my plate and now with my striper brush Okay, here is my striper brush you can see okay and with my striper brush I'm just on my ring finger I'm gonna go in and paint some stems just like that and this one I should not forget is inspired by Ro I mean it's inspired completely by Robin Moses uh, the way to use the striper I have learned from her and I'll be making just some random stems and now with my simple this detailing brush I'm going to take up my paint and would be painting some leaves uh, it's my choice where I want to place the leaves see how I'm doing it I'll just give you a closer look I suppose see right here I'll just paint a leaf here like so similarly I'll paint as many leaves as many fits my finger it's not important that you have long nails or whatever you can do this design on your short nails as well and okay, I think now I'll I'm just... going in for the flowers with my red acrylic and uh, the way I'll be painting my flowers is so and now I'll just put a dot here so that it looks a little like this as you can see so i'll be painting some more flowers maybe on this here i'll be painting one flower uh, i've done the design on my left hand ring finger and on my right hand middle finger it's completely your choice dot here and then on this one i'm just gonna do like a dot 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 look and that's it only two flowers I'll just put a flower here as well so here are my three flowers with the stem now I will be showing you how did I do uh, I hope you can see the shine in the flowers and this is because of foils I have applied foils once your acrylic is completely dry I will be showing it to you how did I do that till then I'll just show how to create this look on your middle finger for this I'll be taking out my golden polish this one in the plate as you've seen earlier me how do I do that and then I'll be taking a simple piece of foam like so and I to hold them I have take I'll be taking my tweezers and I'll just hold it like this and here I'll be dipping it into the polish and then I would just on the tips concentrating on the tips I would be just applying the golden polish apply it slowly that's it now I will be taking out more polish and would be concentrating it okay on so the now tip. if you want you can just leave this design to here in these flowers you can make the centers like so by applying these golden studs or if you do not have golden studs you can simply apply some golden paint or some golden polish Matlab, you have to create a center there okay so in these what I have done further is that here is my foil glue in my plate like right here and I am just applying uh, some of the foil glue 
on my flowers like so and then i will just completely let this foil glue dry and would apply foil that's okay, the way. so now till my foil glue is drying, I have this uh, new you glitter polish. This is a simple golden glitter polish, and I would be just opening it up. And why I'm applying is that it it is just giving a shine. Now you can see a difference between this nail and this nail. See, so that's the difference because of this polish. So now I'll be just applying it on the tips, going a little up, and it also evens everything down. You see, I'm applying it, and and it gives such a nice shine. I'm just like so then I'll just apply it and then once this is dry I will be top coating my nail with a normal top coat which is very very important okay so now I'll be showing you the foil uh, the foil I'm using is this red glitter this one is from dollarnailart.com and it's a very very recommended site to buy foils these are nail foils and th these are the foils I get this nail foil glue free with six packs of these foils comes with one foil glue free okay so now here is a small piece of the foil that i have cut out right here and now my foil glue is completely dry i'll just hold up the foil like so and i'll just put it on the flower take it out put it on the flower take it out okay so there is the foil onto the flower I have come up a little early I told you so here you can see that I'm putting up my top coat drops in the center of my flowers and now from this wheel I'm taking out these golden studs and this is a very known wheel to you guys this is uh, one I bought from Born Pretty and then I'll just pick it pick the studs with my tweezers and would we'll just place it right in the center of my flowers like so and then after placing my studs here i would be top coating it again i've already top coated my pointer finger that i did and now i will be top coating this as well and then the design would be complete so here I go with my top coat right like that and whenever you're top coating just top coat it with a very very light hand whenever you're top coat whenever you're putting your first coat of the top coat. So with this I come to an end to my Indian bridal design and I hope you like this one in red and gold. If you want me to do an Indian bridal design in some other color maybe not, not these conventional colors then do let me know. I have done this combination before as well but this is very very beautiful i think okay so now i will be uploading it very soon and i hope you like this if you try them please show them to me on my facebook page thanks for watching bye